okay i'm not really sure why i'm making this video but i am i thought it was pretty uh, kind of fascinating really in a way um so i've been using uh, nvidia's rtx voice to uh, filter out background noise because i've got an air conditioning unit that's so loud so i tried to use that to clear up my microphone audio but i like to do it live while i'm recording because it's a lot easier than having to edit the video and the audio later and blah 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 okay so you may already know about rtx voice and uh, the big push was uh, has come from the lockdown covid19 with the uh, uh conferencing software that people are using like zoom etc and there's a lot of background noise not only in their own audio but so what they receive from other people and it's a bit of a shit show well rtx voice is cool because it uses ai, AI to uh, uh filter out the noise blah 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 very cool but what i found interesting if i turn off all right so I'm going to keep it running on my microphone. Actually, no, let me turn it off my microphone for a minute. So I've removed it from my microphone. Uh, in OBS, I have it set to compress as well as uh, limit the audio to try and boost the volume and try and make it consistent because I don't have the microphone near my mouth and I talk softly sometimes. This is with the suppression turned on. And for the most part, it's a lot better. The, my voice does change a bit, I notice. There's a little bit of uh, artifacts that, that go on. But I'm waffling. Right. So what I found interesting was this. So there's a video that I found online that I was interested in looking at, which is for binary space partitioning. The content's somewhat irrelevant. Listen to the audio. It represents geometry. We have, we have a different, different way of representing geometry. geometry. So, so that's the... Hear that big, horrible hissing in the background. Ugh. Just in case you missed it. Usually it's a pathological... Oh, also, I should mute my mic while I do this because I just realised it's feeding back into the system, so bear with me. ...approach, sometimes called a boundary representation because you're explicit. If we keep moving... See that the key. Okay, so what you can do is so what someone has done, which is pretty cool, and it was helpful, and it That's allowed sweat. me to watch That's it. Um, you'll even notice I said thank you. Someone uploaded a cleaned audio version where they uh, ran the audio through a, a denoising filter or some description, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me just mute my mic and play a little bit of it and you'll notice it sounds a lot different a lot less background noise but it sounds awful actually like the it's missing a lot of the deeper bassy sounds from the voice so it's pretty obnoxious in fact when I um, when I went for it I um, I boosted those aspects of the audio just to try and compensate for it. So, uh, anyway. ...into two, we'll call them half point. Uh, this, the small cube actually lies completely between the planes of the rightmost face. So, <clears throat> what I would say is that um, hopefully you can remember what that was like. Now let's go back to the original video. In this, In this little, little video, video, I'm going, going to, to introduce, introduce you to how we represent geometry. We have a different way of representing geometry than most people do. So let's start with how people usually represent geometry in the computer. So here we have what's called a line drawing or wireframe drawing of this cube. And what it makes apparent is you, the corners of the cube are points. Wow, that's pretty epic. I actually really like that. Um, well, that's going to be really useful because there's often, I mean, I say often, sometimes there's, I find that the more niche a video is, something, you know, like here, 10,000 views, not a lot of views, been up since, what, 2016? <clears throat> so it's about four years old. And uh, 
you know, 10,000 views. So yeah, I would say it's quite a niche video. And niche videos tend to have really poor audio <laughs> quite often. Uh, some of my favorite channels, I mean, it's really, really bad. So no, I'm going to be using this more in the future. And I thought, is it worth making a little video about it just for the sake of making a video really? Felt like doing it. You know what I mean? Okay. Thanks for listening to me, Goal. Full fight.